Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. Today we're taking a look at the Mega Constructs Call of Duty Hazmat Lab Armory. The set consists of 80 pieces, including two micro action figures. Let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look. Here it is, the Hazmat Lab Armory. As you can see, we have two micro action figures as well as this uh, cargo container. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at each of these components one by one. All right, here we have our first Hazmat Trooper. Uh, as you can see, he's got this kind of orangish yellow outfit, black gloves, black boots, black uh, straps and belt, and a gas mask. Uh, the detailing and the sculpt is really nice. Uh, not a whole lot to it as far as uh, color detail, but the sculpting is good, and uh, the colors are appropriate considering the occupation of this guy. Pretty well done. He does have a couple of the pegs to attach accessories and such, and he is capable of a backpack with that hole on the back. And here we have the next hazmat trooper. Uh, he has a little bit of a different head mold, uh, and he has a glass um, visor, and that is removable. Uh, there is a breathing mask that has a hose that attaches to a little box on the belt. Um, so that is another variation. The uh, tactical vest or the backpack straps are the same. Uh, the sculpt and the coloring are obviously very similar. This guy, however, has a air tank on his back and that is brick built. That's four pieces. Uh, these two little round pieces, one on either end. This is a, just a, basically a one by one round stud with a peg on it and then there's a double-sided stud here and they just clip together and it pops right in his back it's a really well done thing it's kind of cool to have a an actual build there rather than just a preformed piece but I like this guy he looks really good let me get this uh, mask off and you can see his face just a little bit better yeah very cool so they call this set an armory but it's not really much of one. There are only two weapons included in this set. Uh, you can see those two submachine guns down there. This set also includes a figure stand, one for each figure, and there is that green beaker full of some sort of maybe radioactive or biochemical material. Some nice accessories, but not really enough to effectively call this an armory, in my opinion. And this is the main structure that they are calling the armory. Uh, I would call it more of a portable hazmat lab. As you can see, we have some uh, decoration on the front wall here. There is a door that opens, and that's perfectly functional. Uh, there's this little kind of uh, doormat, I guess, with uh, some railing on here on the side. There's some kind of canister up here. I don't know if that's air or compressed air, maybe, something like that. And then we have the suggestion of a light right here as well, which is cool. Um, kind of hidden back behind that is uh, what almost looks like a skull and crossbones, but it's actually a gas mask. And then we have the uh, uh, biohazard emblem uh, painted in a, kind of a neon green. Um, the corrugated uh, material is kind of an orange, light orange and brown, almost black blend to make it look like it is a, a weathered uh, piece of equipment. You have a couple of doors on the side that open up so that you can get into it in addition to the door over here. But if we take off the roof, we can get a better look at the inside. In fact, let's go ahead and pop this open. So on the inside of this, first of all, we have a little table here on the side and a very cool printed piece um, that tile there uh, I guess is got some scientific data so they can test some of this uh, biomaterial that they have that looks maybe like a DNA strand and some other information and then we have a couple of vials posted on the wall here one of them as you can see is about half empty um, the other is fairly full again we're not sure what this material is but uh, it's kind of cool that they have this sort of portable lab so that they can test this material so you can have your vial just sitting on the table there and you can run analytics and hopefully find a cure or a antidote for whatever this is. So this set retails for about $15. 
this was acquired through Amazon, if I recall. I've had it for a while. It's been in the backlog. Um, but it's a pretty cool set, very similar to the other armory sets that we've gotten with these shipping containers. Um, again, two figures and this uh, structure here for 15 bucks. Not a bad deal. Uh, not the most exciting soldiers, I guess, maybe. Um, but uh, they're really well done and uh, pretty accurate, I think. Again, I don't know that I can really call this an armory because it only comes with the two weapons for the people. Uh, however, um, it does work really well as a sort of a portable biohazard lab. And uh, as far as that goes, I think it's really well done. Anyway, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.